Hello, little human. Little human. You're waking up now. Welcome, mortal. Oh, I wouldn't wonder where you are right now. But if you want to know so bad, I guess I'll enlighten you. This plane of existence is not of your own, or anywhere on earth. It is the end, the final point of space and time, where time has no jurisdiction. You feel the hours, days, and months run past you and every minute is like an eternity here. <laughs> Confusing, isn't it? A sort of limbo, where I guess the technical term would be terminus. This is what this place is called by the lost souls who inhabit the realm. That is why I called you here. As in right now. As in this very moment. Now let me absolutely clarify. You are dead. Absolutely, 100%, honey. You are about as alive as a doorknob or a sack of dirt. Calm down. I can understand you're upset. In fact, this is a normal process. I can't tell you how many times... A dead human panicked over this particular thing. Breaking the news to them is the boring part of this job. Who am I? I am Muertes. Then again, Muertes is one of the many names I am known by. The dead one, the collector, the pale rider. Is this ringing any bells? Thanos, Yama, Santa Muerte, Death, the Grim Reaper. Is it sinking in yet? What were you expecting? A shadowy figure in a dark flowing cloak. An understandable misconception. You'd be surprised how much I get that. Hmm. Where was I going with this again? Sorry, honey. It can be incredibly easy to lose your memory when you are my age. Planning the deaths of hundreds and over the course of one day, and carrying out such grisly tasks. Anyway, where was I? Ah, yes. As to why you're here. Your soul is torn between both heaven and hell, with the sins you bear. Not to worry. You don't have quite enough sins to go to hell. But still enough, but still enough, to not enter heaven's gates. It's a kind of neutral. Then again, you aren't a saint. So much hubris looking out for number one. 
Got a little resentful toward everyone else, huh? No matter. Hubris isn't the worst sin out there. But it must be pretty bad since you are here. You've also stolen cash and other resources to get what you want. Stealing. Breaking one of the Ten Commandments won't get you into heaven faster. Lying also slows you down. And you've lied so very much. You could fill a book with all the tall tales you've told, and other sins, etc., etc. That's why I'm prepared to make a deal with you. I can see you're avidly curious. Good. You'll soon be needing that enthusiasm. I will return your soul back to your original body and give you a second chance in exchange for a favor. Call it community service to scrape off the minor sins your soul has collected over the period of your short lifetime. Here's the situation. Recently, other souls who are far dirtier than yours have been escaping their judgment, with me being the very embodiment of death, my plague is always full. You can understand with me overviewing and overseeing every death in every community, town, country, state, in every continent of this entire world. Do you know how many humans die every day? In fact, the amount of time in this conversation already means I am behind schedule. That's why I need someone to go after them, hunt them down, and send them where they belong. I will assign tasks for you to find and punish those wayward sinners before sending them back to hell. Now I'll warn you right now. It won't be easy. These are hardcore sinners. There's a reason why they've landed in the position they are in. They will manipulate and try to dissuade you from reaping them. They will do just about anything to elude their ultimate fate. Some will even try to fight back if necessary. That's why, in addition to your second chance, and the chance to allow your soul passage through the pearly white gates, you will receive 25% of my power to help aid in your search. You will be able to manipulate the darkness, move through shadows to near invisibility. Your body will be indestructible. So we don't meet like this again, and I'm not over-exaggerating. You will literally be indestructible. You name it. You will be bulletproof, fire-resistant, poison-defiant, your body will become its own armor. Nothing will kill you. Hell, 
a planet could fall on you, and you would simply feel nothing. You'll also be able to sense the presence of other dead, and you'll have your very own scythe to reap them with, and also help control other powers involved. But there's a catch. If you use these powers for evil, or kill anyone who isn't intended to die, you will die instantly. Call it insurance. You're expendable. So remember that all you have to do is kill your target with the scythe I give you, and their souls will instantly, will instantly teleport them to their path of judgment. The world will never know what you do, and your loved ones will remain oblivious to your secret career choice. You may receive your second chance after you repent, and then I shall take you as my apprentice. And let's face it, your options are limited at the moment. It's a lot better than spending the rest of eternity wandering Terminus aimlessly, before eventually going insane, which is arguably a lot worse than hell. Or, you could go back to Earth where everything is marshmallow and candy floss. This is an opportunity to get back in the world and live the life you've always wanted. All while redeeming yourself and your soul in the process. I can always find another lost soul. Seeking redemption, if that's all fine and dandy with you. Don't worry, I'm not going anywhere. Just checking to see if you are up for it. <laughs> <laughs> now to recap, you are dead. I shall give you your old life back, and you will become a bounty hunter of sinners and souls, and an agent of death who will serve me until all your sins are worked off. You will become the shadow of death. My little dead shadow. So, are you interested? This short was written by Raphael S.